In December 1983, scientists at the IRAS Space Observatory made headlines when they announced that they had used an infrared satellite to detect an unknown object, possibly as large as the giant planet Jupiter and possibly so close to Earth that it would be part of this solar system. This mystery in space had been detected twice in six months, near the constellation Orion, and it was described by IRAS as being so cold that it cast no light, which explained why they hadn't seen the object before with optical telescopes on Earth or in space. IRAS reported that the object appeared to be moving towards Earth. With the discovery of the unknown object, it seemed conceivable that the search for the elusive Planet X was finally over. Dr. Ray T. Reynolds of the Ames Research Center in California reported that other astronomers are so sure of the 10th planet, they think there's nothing left but to name it. But just four years later in 1987, NASA announced that its two pioneer spacecrafts, which had explored beyond the known planets since 1972, had failed to find any evidence to support speculation that Planet X is out there. So what had happened to this unknown object the size of Jupiter? Could it have been Planet X, and if so, are NASA hiding it? Evidence for Planet X has been observed in the skies for centuries. Even before the discovery of Neptune in 1846, astronomers believed there were two giant planets in our solar system yet to be discovered. In 1834, astronomer Peter Andreas Hansen was confident that a single planet alone could not explain the seemingly erratic motion of Uranus's orbit. Celestial mathematician Urbain Le Verrier was able to use observations of Uranus's orbit to accurately calculate the position of the previously unknown Neptune, without even using a telescope. But when Neptune was discovered, it was deemed too small to be the only planet affecting Uranus's orbit and even Neptune's orbit appeared to be affected by a stronger gravitational force on the edge of our solar system. After the discovery of Neptune, the hunt for Planet X heightened. In 1911, Indian astronomer Venkatesh P. Ketakar hypothesized the position of two unknown planets further than Neptune, one of which was later discovered to be Pluto. But the existence of the second planet has never been confirmed. Could it be possible that for hundreds of years scientists have known the position of Planet X but hadn't been able to observe it because it was too dark to be seen by the naked eye. Was this what IRAS had detected? While it is predicted that Planet X sits on the edge of our solar system, the implications of its existence are much closer to home. In 1984, physicist Richard A. Muller used fossil records to postulate that mass extinctions were not random, but occurred regularly every 26 million years. He suggested that every 26 million years an external force such as a large planet passes through the Oort cloud, a source of comets at the edge of our solar system. According to Muller, this causes the comets to crash violently to Earth, leading to death and destruction. This theory was made less than a year after IRAS spotted their unknown object. Is it possible that the government decided to cover up the existence of Planet X to hide the knowledge that they had found the planet that would end humanity? Despite NASA's announcement in 1987 that they had found no evidence for Planet X, John Anderson of the Jet Propulsion Laboratory proposed that it was missed by NASA's satellites, as it must be travelling in an elongated orbit nearly at a right angle to the orbits of the other planets. Such an orbit would bring the planet near the rest of the solar system only every 700 to 1000 years. This theory is further supported by the recent discovery of the planetoids, including Sedna, which has an orbit so extreme that it takes 11,400 years to orbit our Sun. Measurements made by the spacecraft found that Uranus's irregular orbit was due to an overestimation of Neptune's mass. However, some say this is further evidence of NASA's cover-up. Indeed, despite NASA's various announcements, the speculation surrounding Planet X continues. In particular, the mystery planet has been linked with a Nibiru cataclysm. In his book The Twelfth Planet, Zechariah Sitchin interprets ancient Sumerian mythology to determine that there is a planet beyond Neptune that has an orbit that brings it within the Earth's solar system every 3,600 years. This missing planet is called Nibiru. Based loosely on Sitchin's research, the Nibiru cataclysm refers to a collision or near-miss between Earth and another planetary object, which is predicted to happen in the early 21st century. Could this be the unknown object that IRAS had detected moving towards Earth? The idea, first put forward by Nancy Leder in 1995, predicts that the gravitational force of Planet X on the Earth will cause a catastrophic shift of the North and South Poles, leading to the extinction of humanity. 
Leader states that recent natural disasters attributed to global warming are actually marking the imminent arrival of Planet X. The existence of Planet X and the possibility that it could exterminate the Earth has fueled numerous doomsday theories internationally. Nancy Leader initially said that the planet collision date was to be the 15th of May 2003. A Japanese cult called the Pana Wave Laboratory picked up on this theory and blocked off roads and rivers in a village in Japan with white cloths to protect themselves. When the date came and went, Nancy Leader stated that the real date of the actual collision was to be kept secret. But hysteria flared up again when the Planet X theory was blended with the 2012 Mayan calendar apocalypse. Believers of the Planet X conspiracy accuse NASA of concealing evidence of its existence since the first mention of an unknown object heading towards Earth in 1983. As well as NASA, Google has also been accused of covering up the existence of Planet X. In 2008 it was reported that Google Sky, the Google website that allows you to view celestial objects, was missing a patch of data near the constellation Orion, the place that IRAS had detected the Jupiter-sized unknown object. In response, a scientist at Google said that the missing data is due to a glitch in the stitching software used to piece the images together. If Planet X does exist, it seems most of us won't know for sure until it's too late. But according to official sources, we have nothing to worry about.